It would be best if you came here of your own free will next time. Until then, farewell. I once made a choice to live. So much has happened to me since that decision. If this power is a sign that I'm drawing closer to life, does it mean that the answer at the end of the journey is... death? I was surprised at the time to discover how little the possibility bothered me. up. You really scared us, collapsing like that. Yukari-san. I came because Mitsuru-senpai called for me just in case, and I get caught up in this? Give me a break. I'm sorry to have worried you. What's all this? While I was fixing your body, I added some additional equipment. We found some strange things under the floor. There was no sign that you would wake up, so instead of waiting, we tried everything we could. I see. It still sucks, though, getting bossed around by her like that. That strange girl said, if you want to protect Igis, you should put that on her. Yo, looks like you've been through a lot. No worries here, though. She's on her best behavior now. <sighs> I guess she wasn't lying after all. Anyway, she can't cause any trouble now. We have our evokers this time. What do you gotta bust things up like that for? I mean, today's my turn to clean the place. Hey, quit with the silent treatment and say something. Uh huh? Are you serious? You were sleeping all this time? It opened. I, uh... You look pretty comfy there. I ain't afraid of no humans, huh? It, it's just, I was tired after going into orgia mode. Oh. Did you cooperate with them in order to help me? The reason I came here in the first place was to protect you. These restraints aren't necessary. I won't attack anymore. No one is going to believe you if you don't explain why. It's... It's because I thought you wouldn't like me. Hmm. Let's release her. I don't know if she can be trusted, but I believe she has no intention of fighting us. Besides which, if she has the same parameters as I do, the chains will not hold her anyway. Friggin' non-stop shifts were for nothing? First, tell me who you are and your purpose in being here. I'm Metis. 
as you can see, you and I are practically siblings. And as for my purpose, it's simply to save you, my only sister, from this hopeless situation. Hopeless situation? Did something happen while I was asleep? How long was I asleep anyway? Since our battle ended, I'd say about a day and a half has passed. Yet today is still March 31st. Tomorrow, and all the days after it, will also be March 31st. At this rate, it will last forever. Didn't you feel it, the moment when time skipped? Skipped? Do you mean what we felt at midnight? Then, are you saying that the same day is repeating itself? That's not all. We haven't been able to leave the dorm since this morning. That makes two ways we're trapped here. No. But why? The abyss of time below us is causing a space-time distortion. Abyss... of time? It's difficult to explain. It may be easier to show you. I'll lead the way. Please follow me. Hey! Who elected you mayor? What? This is the abyss of time. It's an uncharted territory that probably spreads beneath this area like a tree's roots. How could something like this have appeared under the lounge? At first, the abyss of time was a small thing. Then, without warning, it began to spread out and formed a connection to your dorm. It's clear just by looking at it that this place was not man-made. It might be the product of some dangerous power, the way Tartarus was. Jeez, haven't we had enough of that kind of stuff by now? I'm not sure I can explain it, but the flow of time here is not normal. The reason why time is skipping and why you can't leave the dorm is most certainly due to that effect. The only way to survive is to somehow find a way to eradicate the abyss of time. Eradicate it? How are we supposed to do that? I've already tried the simplest, most direct way. Eliminating all of you. The abyss of time connected to this dorm as if drawn to it. That, together with the way you can all perceive the time skips, it seems clear to me that you have a lot to do with the reason for this happening. So that's why you attacked? In order to eliminate us? What the hell? We, we've never even heard of this place before. If there is another way, we can only find it by entering the abyss. You'll have to discover the cause and strike at its source. So you want us to investigate it under the assumption that we'll have to fight? That's why I insisted on the extra equipment to protect Aegis. Wait, is this a joke? Are you seriously telling us to go back to the way things were when Tartarus was around? Never mind that. How are we supposed to believe whatever you say and jump in there blind? If you have a better plan, let's hear it. First, the basement of your dorm, then the time skips, and now you can't reach the outside world. If we can't leave the dorm, how will we eat? If we're stuck here for long enough and we run out of food, are we going to starve to death? No! If the current
current situation continues, your lives may all be in danger. What I'm asking you to do is the only way for you all to survive. Naturally, we all want to survive. But you first appear to us as an enemy. You must understand that we can't entrust our lives to you. I'm not even buying your reason for being here. You say you want to protect Igis, but what's in it for you? In it? <laughs> I'm doing this because I care about her. For heaven's sake, she's my only sister! About that, your claim doesn't fit the facts. Igis was the last of her series, and none of her model were produced afterward. To hear you talk, it sounds like you've been in this abyss of time from the start. You said this is uncharted territory, unconnected to the outside world, am I correct? Uh, th that's... Aren't you supposed to be a weapon anyway? How do you square that with attacking us to save Igis? That's... I... um... Well, we're waiting. Hope you've got a good answer. Because if you're stringing us along, we're not going to let you get away with it. D enough about me! What good is any of this supposed to do you? I thought I told you, there's no time to waste! Now follow me! Or are you going to give up so soon? Because if you are, you should have let me kill you in the first place! What did you just say? It may be true that we have no choice but to enter here. But if you continue to act this way, we'll have to go on without you. Huh? Without me? <laughs> you can't possibly... I know the most about the Abyss! You need me! And... Hey, you don't get to decide that. Fighting would put all of our lives at risk. If that's the way you think of my friends, I can't go with you. But... Ah, too bad. Well, have fun here all alone, okay? Uh, all... alone? Maybe we should finish her off now, so she can't backstab us. Well, we don't have to go that far. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, I guess. I'll listen to you from now on. I will! Please don't leave me! Come on, it's, it's, it's too late to get all weepy. But maybe it's true that all she wants really is to protect Aigisan. Well, Senpai, do we take her along or not? Because <laughs> if this is our only choice, I just want to hurry up and get it over with. Listen to me, everyone. It seems that once again, we will have to investigate, and there will be battle involved. I've been thinking it over, and I believe Igis should take command. If someone with the power to change personas is in charge, we can proceed the same way as before. And if you, as leader, approve, I have no issue with Metis accompanying us. Mitsuru-san... If you wish to protect me, you must fight to protect us all. Hurting my friends will not be tolerated. Do you promise? Yes! I promise! <laughs> this better not come back to bite us in the ass. Hey, I guess. Since Mitsuru-senpai just mentioned it, 
What's up with you suddenly having his power? I really don't know. When I thought we might lose someone else, I became scared, and suddenly... Metis, was it? Do you know anything about this? I just met her. How would I know? Anyway, if you already know someone with that same power, why not just ask him? <sighs> if we're going back into combat, this clothing won't do. Well, you and me are still GeckoCon students until that magic degree comes in the mail. Sorry to trouble you, Yamagishi, but could you retrieve the armbands from the command room? Of course. Oh, and the things we found when the floor opened up. I'll look into them once I have a chance. Maybe I can learn something. Alright, let's get back upstairs. Um, I guess... to listen to what you say, so... Could I... call you... sister? Go right ahead. <laughs> Thank you!